actually left Cardamena. <laughs> We're heading down to the end of Kos, on our way to Asipalaya. Rumour has it there could be a little bit of wind, so we're getting ready with the main sail. It's so strange today we have no sunshine. It's warm but cloudy, grey. And we have a new crew member, our oldest one, Ernie, who lives in Poland. He joined us for next two weeks. He's supposed to help us. Uh, yeah, he's keeping the trampoline down, which is very important to stop a flapping up in here. <laughs> I think he missed his girlfriend already. Yes, definitely he misses her. On the phone, all the way from Cardamena, for as long as we had signal. But he's not the only one who is sad. I didn't go to McDonald's. And you didn't go to McDonald's? Mm, Max I... wasn't in McDonald's nine months. And we just been in Poland and we say we're gonna go to McDonald's. Well, we've been too busy. So. At least they have each other to share their pain. As we know, to treat sadness, the best is work, sunshine, and to reach your goal destination. Okay, well, after a strange journey, as in, well, first of all, the weather forecast was exactly what it said it was going to be. That was the strangest. So that was strange, <laughs> because normally it's just um, whatever you get is a lucky dip here. But yeah, we between 15 and 20 knots, uh, northwesterly, motor sail. Um, we're achieving about five knots average, I'd say. It took us eight hours to get here. A lot of slamming because I'd say it was about a, a meter of swell by times. Even the dog wasn't seasick, so that's that's something. Tasty dog. Yeah, it's tasty dog. So yeah, we're into our way into Astipalaya, which is on the map, it looks like a butterfly. So we're going to the furthest wing. Scala is the main port. Uh, we're going to suss it out. Our pilot is about 50 years out of date, so God knows what could be here when we get in here. Could be an skyscrapers. Apple, could be skyscrapers, an app store, and a McDonald's for all we know. But I don't think so. No. Looking forward to it. Everyone has recommended this island as a place to go. There's a lot to see. Anyway, we're thinking about anchoring, but again, if the if the port is a bit more developed compared to what the pilot says, maybe we will. Um, get a place on the pier wall. We'll be able to report back on that in about 45 minutes. <laughs> we did get to the harbour. There were no skyscrapers, but there was a moaning sailor who informed us that we had crossed his anchor. Luckily, Ernie could jump to the water, dive, and prove that we had not. We okay? They are, yes. Yeah, he's stuck on the rock. Um, on the rock? Yeah. So he's stuck on the rock. Yeah. So he can pull it. <laughs> well, he can do what he wants. Yeah. To say thanks, Monica attempted to cut Ernie's hair. It doesn't matter that she had no idea how to do this, and it was a model to end badly. Quickly! Right. 
It's not cutting, I'm making four. Why don't you make them a hole? It's not cutting, good. Yeah, yeah, blame the razor. Guys, look at this guilty face and dramatic haircut. Max Explorer, where are you going? I'm going to, to explore the castle. Mm -hmm. What is the island world what we are on? What's the name? I forgot. As Astipalea. Yeah, Astipalea. We are in Astipalea, Satleon, and Ernie, and Max. I'm reading how to, how to be a, what you have to do when you're stuck in some places. Yeah. There is a Zarafet, there is a castle, that Astipalea. We go and go up and up to the castle. And here is a police port station. And there is a Michael trying to sort the papers. Cool building. <laughs> That's a windmill so of Astipalea, but only one has a sales, or maybe two. And it's, it's going to adopt all cats from the Greek islands. And the leon is jealous. No. The floor is very hot. Oh, this is not breeze. And we're going up there. Max, are you tired? Yeah. We are quite high. You can see our boat. I don't to say something, but I'm out of breath. We're nearly now on the top of Everest. <laughs> uh, just a meter below the snow cap. I'd hate to forget my phone if I lived up here. So picturesque, beautiful, beautiful place. All the houses built around the harbour. We're on the way to see the castle. We were impressed when we came to the harbour. No, you gotta, you gotta get out and in amongst the streets and then you gotta... Feel the town, yeah. You feel the town, get a sense of it. Looks different from this per perspective, no? It does. No, no that's a beautiful. You can see we're on one wing, and there's your wing over there, and then this l narrow uh, strip of land in the middle. It's the middle of the butterfly, yes. Okay, next to you want How many towns is here? One, two, three, three, four, probably on the other uh, side, this, three. This is the one that they say that's where they go for shelter from the southeasterlies, mm -hmm. because the islands block the, the wind and the waves. And then the only other real protection is the one uh, on the north of, of this uh, right hand side wing. And there is no channel between? No, no you have to go around. It would take about three hours. Well, to go to the top one and come back down, yeah, because you're probably coming near enough inside where you can, as far as you can see that side, you should go a long way around. Can I tell you one thing? That's, most, that's the most beautiful graveyard I've ever seen. There's so many flowers in it. It's so something? white. It is a graveyard. Yeah, that's a small graveyard. Yes. On the hill. And can yes. you see how beautiful it is? Just the white flowers. Yes. The Zarafet over there. That old town. Yes, where are you? Where? Max, 
Is there a way to the castle? All right, I think we go this way. That's a cool step, no? Put your hands on the side, how narrow it is. You cannot even stretch your hands, no? Okay, go on. Takie były hałas? Gdzie? To dla hobbitów dałem. To dla hobbit. Well, my house. Here you can see the door is perfect for me. Do not have Zorin will fit in here. Zorin probably will not fit in here. You will probably have to do this. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is a children's house. No, it's my house. And you're not a child. I am. So children's house. Look at this door. Yeah, pretty. Wait, what? Daddy, can I put Solid this wood. Did you want Solid this house? Nice. That's how is that if it's just there? That's a nice picture, no? Uh, that's a beach. Huh? Uh -huh. Look at these colors. <laughs> we are lost. We have no idea where are we. It was really, really old door, really Ernie, old steps. And you get out of here before you summon some kind of demon. And here is somebody's photo. Can I come in? Can I come in? Wherever this person is, someone wanted us to see his photos. Wait. What if this is like a horror movie? We should come out. We should run because this is a Maybe sick. he was the owner and there is more photos. There was no castle, just ruins and two churches. However, for that view, it was well worth a visit. castle on the top and the old windmill and the bay on one side and there is bay on the other side and that's it, Astupala is actually so small it's not big city center it's not big even town center it's not even the village square it's just one street with few restaurants and few shops around with some souvenirs, that's it